and um, that pretty much works. So that's kind of like the last ten years since I moved to Portland. Yeah. Um, sort of drawings and mixed media stuff. Um, and I've been working a lot with um, birthday candles and uh, vinegar that's got rust in it. And I've also been working with lime. Um, and that's been kind of the way that I've started discovering some kind of um, knowledge or understanding. And so I've just explored with that process and um, things have started emerging for me. And so that's pretty much um, what I'm going to be showing is this interesting sort of uh, process of discovering uh, sort of a, something that I would not have come across if I was just using words to think with. And so by doing these, this kind of visual arts process, which I enjoy so much, and it's a key part of my thinking, um, to make this discovery of this form that is kind of a knowledge or a, 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 um, intelligence of some kind that uh, stuff that I don't necessarily have access to and I'm just thinking to it. So I'm excited to be showing that here and uh, well maybe you can tell me more about what you're going to be showing. I'm going to be showing some some drawings and paintings as well, um, some objects that I've been working on, and it's all coming out as thinking about the illusion of identity, the, the external nature of identity, um, the contradictions that we embody, each of us embody, that kind of uh, make it um, impossible to fully identify with anything. Like if, if, if we're honest. If she had. Yes. <laughs> Difficult to be honest. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and first honest with ourselves, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, that's, yeah. that's mostly what I'm talking about, I think. But, um, and as with most things that I do, as, as you do, the objects are the way that I kind of like think about things. And, and, and work ideas through, and, and but it's not really about the objects. It, it's it's for me. It's a lot more about um, uh, using the objects as um, as like discursive modes. You know, so like that's why um, I've organized like a mini symposium about the nature of um, identity. And these these other events that involve music and performances and. and Conversation to this. Um, as a supplement, or, or it's not even a supplement, it's just it's like part of the work, you know, it's like something that she Because I'm, I'm more interested, like, the thing I'm most interested in is, is, is the conversations that, that you and I have. Yeah, and, and uh, I'm kind of uh, looking forward to um, having a whole group of people in the room with yeah. us and being in conversation with you. and. I know that Gabe's been in conversation with you for a long time and you guys have done a lot of projects together. Yeah. And he's going to be joining us too, which is great. Yeah. And Gabe Floors, right? Gabe Floors, yeah. Yes, I mean, that's the artist talk on the tent, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, what is it performances? Uh, I know that you've got some people joining you that are friends of yours. Or, yeah. yeah. Cheryl Burroughs and Liz are going to be joining me. Yeah. And uh, another band yeah, called yeah, Meander. Um, yeah. I'm going to be she might not have experienced playing some music as well, but it's but it's music that a lot of the music I'm going to be playing is like from uh, the beginning of my musical consciousness, like around the time I was 10 years old, which is like around 1984. And I mean, there's and there's other songs that have been written in the last year or so. But, um, but it's it's all stuff that say informs the work that I that I'm going to be showing. Is that from the time that you were in Australia? Right? No, no. Um, I was in Portland. Then. You were in Portland, yeah. Because I know you also immig you immigrated for a while and then you came back yeah. to Australia, right? Yeah. Which is 
us, yeah, which is also your experience. Yeah. If she had no yeah, so we've been having conversations yeah. about all that for a while. I guess we can carry on when we do our artist talk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you something. So I've got this uh, great uh, funnel. It's actually a steel funnel. And um, it still smells a bit like... Uh, smells a bit like diesel, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, this, is what I, this is one of the things I discovered in my process. Um, and you can see in here I've got um, a couple of things. There's, that's lime, by the way, and uh, that's a birthday candle with a piano wire. And then um, what I've been working with a lot is uh, apple cider vinegar. And uh, this happens to be an organic one. And it's, uh, it's mixed with uh, bits of steel to create rust. And I've actually been using it a lot in my drawing process. And, uh, and I felt like tonight was the right night for us to um, maybe add a bit of vinegar to this lime. Um, because it's uh, something that uh, has been happening all the way through the process. Work for me like that. Something that she might not have experienced if she had not returned. And when Mary returned to her, she was able to go around it. When Mary took time to go from the goal, she was able to see something that she might not have seen at a glance. When Mary, was, when Mary was able to have this time, she felt fortunate. Mary experienced something that she might not have at a glance. In leaving, she returned to her experience and spent some time 